it. He must have it. He wants it. He wants it back. No, no, let me explain. Oh, shut up, Rashnag. <laughs> Stay back! What? Who are you? Shh! Grashnet must be quiet. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Grashnet must sleep now. Sleep beautifully. Make him strong for work. Of course. Sorry. I, I just... Why does everyone call me Grashnik? It means lamb, the new ones. That's what we call them down here. Grashnik. Well, uh, just, just stay in your place. Just over there. Please. Marvelous. Oh, what was that? Time for work. Ah, ah, run, little slaves. Get moving! Move, Snaglob! Shut it. That's the sorcerer's little pet. Golem. Hi. <laughs> What's the hold up? I'm running out of stuff. Something like this, perhaps. Berska. Exactly what I'm looking for. I'll give you extra bread for that. <sighs> Next siege, Globarok. I, I, I don't. I, I. Beasts. You go down to the beasts. No, no, please. Please, you don't have to do that. Grah, you go with him and show him the ropes. But the candleman awaits us. Sounds like a golem problem to me. Beasts. Ugh, follow us, Crush Snake. So, Garab and Glaba cleaned out the old compound. The well of stupidity never runs dry. Wonder who reported all of this, though. Yes, yes, who? And this one? Another fool from the desert? You work up here, so I can keep an eye on both of you. No need to worry. That one barks worse than he bites. Down here. What did it try to explain, we wonders? What? When it came into the cell, it said, let me explain. Explain what? Oh, oh my... my tag. That's what got me into this hole. When they say beasts, what... what... What, what tag? Rashnag has a tag. Oh, this... no, no, the tag for the cart. I had it. I always had it in my... Uh... It drives carts, does it? I was delivering food to the smelters. I'm sure somebody stole it. You mustn't worry about the beasts. The Smeagol helps. Helps good Greshnik survive. Yes. Yes, I trust Smeagol. Here we are. Climb to the other side. First things first, the slaves chase the cattle. The cattle chases the slaves. Is. Ah, in other words, this one is going to trample me. Not if we guide him. Over there, see? On my way. The fat one looks like a good face. Over there, see? That way? Yes. Hurry. Yes. What's it waiting? 
Survive three days down here. Smeagol will help. Smeagol helps Grashnik, yes? And Grashnik helps Smeagol. Nolem, you are expected in the tower. Don't worry. I will take care of him. He's in the war room. <sighs> The Black Queen, my favorite spider. For months, she waits in her den for some unlucky prey. Just waits, perfectly still. And then... You don't appreciate my allegory. The virtue of patience, yes. So much to learn from nature. However, when the trap has been set for years and still no prey in sight, we know who starts to doubt that virtue, don't we? The Lord has nothing to worry about. That is what I wish to hear. I shall leave thee to it. There you are. <laughs> Globa and Garib has climbed the silent stairs like the Master wanted. Just Master. Who does he want us to follow next? There are more urgent matters now. Come. <laughs> what matters, Master? Baggins. I know that you once spoke of him to our lord. Describe him for me. What did he look like? Baggins. Very dark. Where well, we met, very dark. Hardly saw him. A little thief. So he was a little creature then? Like you? Small, yes. Small and fat. Barely got away, didn't it? But it cheated. Do you remember? Large feet, large hairy feet with no shoes. That's how it sneaked away from us. The filthy cheat. What about his face? Small bright eyes, and it had filthy brown hair. Why does Master ask? You need not worry about that. Say hello to your bird. Hello, little one. See? He worships you. Now it's time to put that devotion to use. breed is stronger and smarter than anything nature creates. See that jar hanging below me? There's a figurine hidden inside. Out of reach even for you, right? Well, not for your bird. You will make him fetch it for me. But first, a beast must learn obedience. Call him. Little one. Looks like you've bred a rebel. Well, go get him. Master asks about Baggins. Why does it ask, eh? We wonders. Then stop wondering, because this doesn't concern you. Get used to you. 
Smeagol would go find Baggins, he would. If he knew where Baggins was. You would? And you would promise that? Find it, yes. Go and find Baggins for the Lord. We promises. Go? The Lord will never let you leave. Trust me. Come, nice bird. Don't be scared. Hey! Ah, Master said it loves us. Love doesn't rule out fear. Come back down here. If you cannot command, you must lure. Go and take some pieces of bread. Bird like crunchy bread? More likely the grain inside. Go. See if it allows you to feed it. Nice bread, yes, nice tasty bread. See what a little grain can do. Now, call him again. Nice bird, don't fly. Well done. Now remember the clay jar below me, out of reach for both of us. Point at it and send the bird to undo the knot. Hurry! It did it! It does what we says! Yes. They do not care who we are or what we have done. Unconditional loyalty. <laughs> Be that as it may, the figurine is still out of reach. We has it! Come up here. Good bird. We're not eating this one, are we, precious? We must find this Baggins before the elves do. You understand that, don't you? You know the elves, and they're coming. They want to fill our Middle Earth with starlight. And when they do, they will know all we have done. All we have done. But fear not. We will find the Shire and kill every Baggins we can find. And then you and I and all of us will finally be free. We just need to be patient. Can you be patient? Patient, yes, we are. We has been. Like spiders. Very, very patient. Good. For so have I. But now it is time for you to tell me. Tell him what? About this treasure that Baggins stole from you. Treasure? What treasure? My lord. The mouth is asking for you, my lord. Again? I must go. Return the bird to his cage. You and I will talk tomorrow. Don't touch anything in there. No. Gollum crawls through the mud, Gollum runs from the beasts, Gollum breeds slimy orklings, Gollum has... Sorcerer won't miss one bottle.
What exactly are we looking for? If I knew, I would have told you. It's the daughter. Wouldn't I? You search over there. Yes, mistress. What does it want? Closer. Find out what it's up to. <laughs> Don't disturb his books. He keeps a system. It's spying on the master. Nothing here. I'll go look in the study. Shh. Watch. ugly thing, yet he keeps sparking his interest. What's on the list, I heard. And I would love to know why. Could question it. Hmm. But keep it quiet. It must know something father wants. Here we go. Here we go, dear father. What is it? A message from Snona, one of his searchers. New information about a place called Shire. Meet at noon. Shire. This might be something the mouth could use. Shire. Baggins. Come. Use how? Again, I tell you if I knew. Let's collect that message. You stay behind and clear this place up. Make sure we leave no traces. He wants to find baggins. Stay close to them, precious. the early morning. He's probably out on watch duty.
What if he watches us from a window? Father's much too busy staring at books and paintings. Come on, let's move. Shh, follow then, quick. The great eye, the great sees, eye us. sees us. The great, the great eye, eye knows us. Yes, he does. So let's keep working. Prayers alone will not build this bridge. <laughs> you, Posca. <laughs> you too. Have some pride. Yes, mistress. And get some water. You look parched. Oh, we're looking at Snara. Great eyes. <laughs> He doesn't know anything. <laughs> Snara, have you seen him? Yeah. Snara, I saw him talk to the master earlier. Good luck. <laughs> where he is. He's watching over Hill 4, up on the lookout. What's she up to now? Up to the tower. Find that Snara before she does. They must never find Baggins. Snara! <laughs> what? <laughs> Visit us, the woman. <laughs> Bring her up. <laughs> Watch the altar! Perhaps the Snara Orc found that where Baggins lives. No time for questions. Just silence it.
hunt the, uh, the sorcerer. Why did he summon you? Nice desert man mustn't worry about us. The Smeagol can bear it on his own. Oh. So, uh, Smeagol? Is, is that your name? How did you end up in this hole? Tried to catch a beetle. A beetle? What about him? Me? Oh, well, I was a soldier. Not a very good one. First battle, I got scared. So I ran. Obviously, I'm not good at running either. He can drive carts. A Smeagol can't do that. The Rashnake should get some sleep. I don't think I can. I can't take my eyes off that tower. Sleep. Smeagol will keep watch. Aren't you tired? Of course we are, of course. So tired. But Smeagol can bear it. He has bought lots of things he has for a very, very long time. wants to pick the nicest maggots, doesn't he? From the nicest bread. What are you talking about? Where are my flasks? We've got a better thing than flasks. Better than dreams. Better than sleep. A number. A number? One that will earn his master's gratitude. Closer. So we can tell him what we learned about the Candleman's spy and who murdered him tonight. <laughs> <laughs> 